welcome to my first Minecraft Let's Play series, Rob's World. In today's episode, we're going to start work on our first starter base, and we're going to start work on an iron farm. We have a village right over, right, right back there behind me right there, and that's where we're going to begin construction on our iron farm. <laughs>
have this right here in front of me here. I'll go around to the front side for you. This is going to be our villager holding area. We're going to coax all the villagers in here by luring them with doors because villagers love to play with doors. We all know that. Um, from there, we are going to start work on setting up our area for our iron farm, which I believe is going to go right here. So we'll fill this in with some dirt real quick. A lot of plans for this world and a lot of different farms we're going to incorporate a lot of different builds it's going to be really cool guys so we'll get all this filled in and I'll be back once that is done all right guys now that we've got our base area all filled in here, we can start construction on the framework for our iron farm. Make sure we got all of our resources here in order here, yeah? Okay. And I think we're gonna do a one chunk size. Do maybe 16 by 16. May, might do a little smaller, I'm not sure yet. Let's see here, let's go to the end. This is where I want the beginning of my iron farm to be, so we'll go one, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We'll go sixteen that way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven. 16. I do watch a lot of Hermitcraft, and that's probably one of my favorite series. Okay, so this iron farm is going to be a very basic, very simple one since this is the beginning of a brand new world here. So, I'll go ahead and get this all set up here for you guys. Get the base work laid out. Alright, and this is the framework for our iron farm here. So now we need to go... Let's go make us some buckets here. I don't know guys, I think we're going to 86 the starter base and I think we're just going to go ahead and begin construction on our on an actual base for us. Here's my livestock for the chicken farms. Doing pretty good. Got plenty of eggs here, yeah. If anybody has any ideas on things that we could do or build or any, any good ideas that you guys might have, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. We'll go through them and figure out what we can do. Right, now we just need a few buckets, so let's go ahead and make us make four buckets real quick. Then we'll start getting our water here. Which what we'll probably do is we'll probably start removing the water from the village area because the village is all going to come down. Four buckets of water. So now we'll start construction on the second layer, at least in the corner, so that way we can get our water in want it to just like that in each corner feel free to build along this is 
this is friendly to all platforms whether it's bedrock or console or java edition this farm works in every single one of them and it works quite well if you if i do say so myself I've had a lot of good luck with these kind of iron farms Start there. One corner, second corner, put buckets together, there, there, put a bucket of water there, and finally a bucket of water in this corner, and then we can move on from there, grab some more water, and just keep on working. Now before we fin before this farm is completed, we will need to do a resource gathering in the nether to get some quartz and some magma blocks. But overall, this is going to be a pretty pretty fun build, I think. You let me know what you think about the location and let me know what you think about all of it down in the comment section, please. Throw some torches so we can see. I do have this set in peaceful mode right now just to get started so that way there's not a whole lot of rigmarole while I'm trying to get things set up here. Okay, so with our four corners of water set up, we'll go ahead and start filling in the rest of the sides with water here. Go ahead and get all of our buckets in one spot. Fill them all up. One, two, three, four. And then we'll come over here to the sides. This is how I like to do it personally, is I'll come to the middle, and I'll put shove one in the middle. Get some scaffolding. We got some scaffolding. Oh, we're going to have to get some scaffolding blocks, some dirt blocks. Shove a bucket of water in there on that side like that. And we're going to come over here, and we're going to put a bucket there. Here, where these two meet, and then I think one more bucket right there should do the trick if we can get over there to it. See this right here is what you want your water to look like when it's all the way set up all the way across there. You need one more bucket of water in right here and we'll be good to go. So let's run over here and get some more water guys. And that should be good enough. I'm going to test it out, see if it flows right here to the middle. Yes, but these streams are longer than those streams because we need another bucket right back in there. And that sets everything up. That's exactly what you want your water to look like, guys. You want a flat line right across there like that. So now let's start filling in the other sides. Sounds good to me. Alright, so one in the middle, one on the sides, I don't think our iron farm is going to be big enough for this here, alright, well, <clears throat> this is as far as I want to get on the iron farm today, so let's go back. Like I said, I'm sorry this ep first episode is so is going to be a short one today, but we have to get got a lot of resource gathering to go. You guys know how it is when you start a brand new Minecraft world. 
got to get all your resources, get your diamonds, get your obsidian, and you got to get into the nether and get your resources from the nether that you need and all that stuff. So it's a lot of work, but it'll be okay. It's totally going to be worth it in the end, guys. I'm sure you'll agree with me. But unfortunately, that is all I have time for today, folks. And I hope you really enjoyed it. If you if you'd like to see more, please make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to my channel for regular uploads. I'm going to try to upload one new episode a day, and we'll see how that schedule works for now, and we'll go from there. All right, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel and comment your 